If you marinate steak in soy sauce, garlic, ginger, and air fry it with frozen broccoli for 10 minutes, you get the easiest beef and broccoli. You can make beef and broccoli in an air fryer in 10 minutes? Oh my goodness, I didn't know Tom Brady was doing cooking videos after Giselle left him. That is very bad. I did good. Sirs and madams, it's your favorite Indian uncle, Mick Kaka. And today we're going to be making some ding 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 beef and broccoli in the air fryer in only 10 minutes. I don't know if we're going to do it in 10 minutes because there's some preparation edge going on here first. So that might take another 30 minutes. I don't know. All right. Okay, first we're going to need some beef. And I know what everyone is saying. Why are you making beef? You should be vegetarian. Cows are sacred. Where do you come from? Well, that is why I got the grass fed beef. You know, the cows eat the grass and that makes them vegetarian. Okay, but on a serious note, you know why Indian people don't eat beef? It's because when our relatives pass away, they get reincarnated into a cow. So I'd like to introduce you to my uncle, Hardik. Hello everyone, my name is Hardik. Are, meet Kaka. I got a boner to pick with you. Are, a boner? Yes, I don't want to be hard on you, but you shouldn't eat meat. And why is that? Because I taste a little woody. Are you trying to make erection puns? Yes, what else would I be doing? My name is Hardik for bloody sex. Well, I think you're trying to give me a hint. If you don't beat your meat, then your meat comes out hard. Are, I did good, I did good. I did good, I did good, 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 good. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take and beat, the, I mean, cut the meat into little strips. Okay, so if we begin with that. You call that a knife? That's not a knife. This is a knife. Okay, so first, I wish I knew how to do that uh, movie magic trick where they go chopper, 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 and the next thing you know, the next frame, they have the chicken strip, or this is not chicken, they have the meat already cut up, but I don't know how to do that. So maybe one day I will learn from the internet. But in the meantime, we are going to chop the meat off. Are chop. Ooh, very nice. Are, okay, so once you have your meat, the meat cut up into strips, you get a bowl and you put everything in the bowl. Okay, we put it in the bowl. Now you take this and you put it away. Hey, adios, senor. Okay, so you have your meat in the bowl. See, very, very nice. And then you're going to put some minced garlic. So I'm going to take it. Ooh, that is very potent. It smells like somebody's armpit that hasn't showered in 27 days. Okay, one scoop, maybe two scoops, get a little bit of the juice. No problem, very good, very good. Then this guy said uh, you have to add some uh, ginger. I don't know what ginger is, but I have the ginger. You know, the red-headed one, the ginger. Okay, so we're gonna add, uh, I don't know, maybe just put a lot, you know, just make it, you gotta make it flavorful, flavorful. So, this is a TikTok hat, look. Somebody taught me this on the tick attack. So if you take it and you twist this, it will come out too, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful magic in the making. And the next thing you need to do is you want to get a half a cup of soy sauce. You know, I have a funny story about soy sauce. When I first went to buy soy sauce, I thought it was a Spanish thing. So I went to the Latin market nearby and went to the cashier and I said, Hey, soy kira, do you have any soy sauce? I'm so sorry, we don't carry your soy sauce. Hey, why not? Soy sauce is Spanish. You know like, yo soy dora, yo soy sauce. First of all, my name is not soy kira. to measure I'm just going to put enough soy sauce to cover the meat I think I think that is a half a cup you know who measures these days what is measuring my measurement just whatever whatever is good for your palate make it that flavor for okay all right so once you have everything in the bowl you see here you got to mix it up okay so very important step here get a glove and mix it up because you don't want your fingers underneath the fingernail to not only smell like duty, but soy sauce, garlic, and that, because then every day 
you wake up in the morning, you like pick your nose and you're like, oh, who's making garlic? All right, who's doing the soya sauce? So anyways, let's mix it up. I'll show it like this, okay? You mix it up, make sure everything is coated all the way around. That's how you get the flavor, okay? You want to coat it, I zoom in, zoom in, okay? Okay, so now if you look at your meat, it is very juicy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is all that that gentleman, Tom Brandon, said to put in. But, we don't do it that way. We are Indian. We like to spice it up a little bit, okay? So I'm going to add some super duper amazing ingredient. What is this? Why am I holding this in my hand? Smell like soya sauce. We are going to be adding some super duper Indian ingredients. Let me get my special W. Okay, you know you're Indian. If you have one of these in your houses, look at this, beautiful. You got, hell, I don't know what the hell is in this damn thing. I'm just going to put it in. So the main thing you want to put, I'm going to put a little bit of garam masala. Oh, snazz of photo. And then, we like it spicy. I'm going to add some red pepper chili flakes. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Pluck, pluck. And then, what every Indian person should have in their pantry. This is like that guy in the orange jumpsuit MSG. This is our MGS. This is Kashmiri red chili pepper. So spicy that when you take it in, it will be hot. And when it comes out, it's even going to be hotter. I always wondered, I had a question for you. I always wondered why when you eat hot food, it is hot in the, uh, in the mouth, but then also it comes out hot in the booty hole. I don't get it. What is it? Do we have taste buds in our anus? Who knows? Dushoom! All right, now that is how you spice it up a little bit. Okay, so now you marinate, I mean, you, you don't marinate it. You mix it again. You will look a little more spicy, a little bit redder now, okay? Then you let it sit in the refrigerator for anywhere from one to 12 hours. The longer, the better, the more flavor. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'll be back in, I don't know how long. Okay. Okay, so once your hard disk has fully marinated for six to 12 hours, you go to your air fryer and you set it for 360 degrees at a total time of 12, 10 to 12 minutes and you let it heat up. I got the one where you got to heat it up. Now, for a little bit of fun, I add a little bit of coconut oil uh, just to grease it up. Plus, it tastes so much deliciousness. Okay, so once your air fryer has heated up, then you open it up and you put about, I would say, half a pound of frozen broccoli. Ah! Depending on your taste, if you want to add more, then you get heart attack, you get heart attack, you get over about high in fiber, okay? So you put your broccoli in. Once you put your broccoli in, then you take your hard egg steaks things and you put it on top of the broccoli. Like so. And the reason you want to put it on top of the broccoli is because you don't want the broccoli to burn. Otherwise you have burnt broccoli and that will not be good. Then you'll have more fat attacks. So once you put your broccoli on top. Oh, look at my fingers, they're very dirty. All right, no, 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 don't do that. You're, you're under with Salman Khan poisoning. Okay, so you add the food, close the lid, let it cook. Then halfway through around six minute, five minute mark, you did a little shake, sort of like a short slicker, you know, you shake it up a little bit, stir it up a little bit, so it comes out very delicious and you uh, even you hit the, the, the broccoli. Okay, listen, we are nearing the halfway mark here. So I'm going to open it up. Let's see what it looks like so far. Oh my goodness, look at that. So we're going to give it a little bit of a stir here. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Touching the sides of the thing. These are very, 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 very hot. But look at delicious that is starting to look. Oh my goodness, see that broccoli starting to burn? That is no good. I forgot to cover it with some, some steak a deck. Anyways, we are going to give it a little more stir. And then close it up. And let it cook for another six more minutes, maybe five more minutes. All right. Three, two, 
वन जीरो ओ माय गुडनेस ओके यू रेडी टू सी व्हाट इट लुक्स लाइक लेट्स डू इट रेडी Oh my goodness my camera is getting very foggy because all the steam is coming up from the broccoli steam that looks delicious okay let's give it a little stir wow wow oh my goodness okay so we're going to take it out and we're going to plate it a little bit here so get a little bit dripping here oh be careful it's very oh shiitake mushrooms Okay. Oh, that looks so delicious. Oh my goodness. Look at that steak. That is grass bed grass fed beef steak vegetarian. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, that broccoli looks delicious too. And you see all those juices right there? That's that's good juice. That's coconut juice. Okay. We are completed. We have plated the thing. Now I want to kick it up a little bit more spicy, so I'm going to add the the gentleman uh, Jean Claude. He uh, put a sesame seed on there. He didn't say in the video, but he put a sesame seed on there. I'm going to add more red chili flakes. Oh my goodness! Got to spice it up a little bit. Dushum. Okay, are you ready for the taste test here? Let's get a little broccoli. Oh, the burnt one. Burnt ones are so good. And a little bit of steak. Are you ready? Mm. Oh my goodness. That is so flavorful. I think if you marinate a little bit more, you get more juiciness of that beef. But man, even one or two hours, that beef is delicioso. Oh my goodness. Woo! You are eating my uncle Hardik. Does he taste good? It's spicy. He's a very good relative of mine. Spicy. Hmm. Very good. Very very good. Tender. Tender? Oh my goodness! Better tasting than the other one. What other one? The one that we made the first night. I don't remember. Hmm. That's good though. It is good for your booty hole. Cleanses your system out. What is it? Hair. It's a mustache hair. <laughs> oh. Mm. It's actually really good. You want some? Maybe. 